Are you getting the can't finish previewing error in Adobe Illustrator? When you're working on a heavy file in Adobe Illustrator, you may sometimes encounter the can't finish previewing error. When this happens, Illustrator automatically switches your artwork to outline mode. This is Illustrator's way of saying, I can't handle rendering this in preview mode. When you try to switch back to preview mode, view GPU preview or CPU preview, Illustrator crashes or force quits completely. Don't worry, in this video I'll walk you through the exact reasons this happens and how to fix it in just a few minutes. Solution 1. Increase scratch disk space. One of the most common reasons for this error is not having enough available space on your scratch disk. To fix this, go to Edit Windows or Illustrator, Mac, Preferences, Plugins and Scratch Disks. You'll see options for the primary and secondary scratch disks. Usually the primary is set to drive C and the secondary is set to none. To solve the issue, either assign C as your secondary disk as well, or if you have another drive with more free space like D or E, choose that as the secondary. This gives Illustrator more room to process large files and complex effects, helping to avoid the previewing error. Solution 2. Clean up your file. If your artwork is complex and filled with too many anchor points, Illustrator may have trouble rendering it in preview mode. A quick fix is to simplify your paths. To do this, select all your artwork, then go to Object, Path, Simplify. This will open the Simplify window, where you can see the original and reduced number of anchor points. Lowering the anchor point count lightens your file and helps Illustrator run more smoothly. Also, if your design includes raster images, check their resolution. Images with a resolution over 300 dpi or wider than 5000 pixels can slow things down dramatically. To fix this, resize those images in Photoshop or relink them using lower resolution versions to reduce the memory load on Illustrator. Solution 3. Expand or flatten artwork. If you're using effects like drop shadows, blurs, glows or other appearance styles, Illustrator may have difficulty rendering them in preview mode, especially if the effects are applied to complex objects or grouped elements. Option 1. Object Expand Appearance. Go to Object Expand Appearance to convert live effects like strokes, fills and drop shadows into editable vector shapes. This simplifies your artwork because Illustrator no longer has to calculate the appearance in real time. It's now a static vector object, which is much easier to preview and process. Option 2. Object Flatten Transparency. Alternatively, go to Object Flatten Transparency if your artwork has transparent areas, multiple layers, or effects involving opacity. This command flattens everything into a single layer with outlined paths and embedded effects, reducing complexity and removing unnecessary transparency blend. Solution 4. Check GPU and go to Edit, Preferences, Performance. On Mac, Illustrator, Preferences, Performance. Here, you'll see an option called GPU Performance. Make sure it's enabled if you're using a modern graphics card. This allows Illustrator to use your GPU to render complex artwork faster and more efficiently. But here's the catch. If GPU performance is already enabled and you're still getting preview errors or crashes, try disabling it temporarily. Why? Older systems or outdated graphics drivers can struggle with GPU acceleration. In some cases, instead of speeding things up, GPU mode causes glitches, preview errors, or unexpected crashes, especially with large or detailed files. By disabling GPU performance, Illustrator will switch to CPU rendering, which is slower but often more stable on older machines. Hopefully one of these solutions helped you fix the can't finish previewing error in Adobe Illustrator. If it did, leave a like and let me know in the comments which solution worked for you. And if you want more Illustrator fixes, design tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.